A Mililani woman says the justice system failed her after the man accused of going on a shooting rampage with a BB gun was never prosecuted. It happened in 2009. Schofield soldier Daniel Womack was arrested and charged with assault and terroristic threatening. But by the time he was scheduled to go on trial, it was five years later. So a judge dismissed the case because of how much time had passed. How did this happen? Manolo Morales got some answers. Manolo? Joe, I spoke with one of the victims today who tells me she was never told that the case had been dismissed, and that was two years ago. She reached out to us to get some answers. And there was blood coming down my hand, and I looked around because I was trying to make sense of what was going on, and I couldn't figure it out, but I had called 911. Francine Sapla was walking outside the Walmart in Mililani when she felt the sting of the BB gun. Doctors told her the pellet went in two inches deep, so she needed surgery to get it out. In a preliminary hearing, another Schofield soldier who was in the car with Womack that night testified in court that Womack shot two women, including Sapla. There was a woman walking down the street. He put the BB gun across, across me out the passenger side window, and he shot the woman. After that hearing, Sapla waited patiently for justice. Nothing has been done. I haven't been notified. I've been trying to seek help as to, you know, what my rights are, um, and I don't want to tap it to anybody else till this day. Um, I am taking medication to help me cope with it. Hi, this is Manola Morales from KHON2 News. After calling the prosecutor's office, the state judiciary, and the Department of Public Safety, here's what we've learned. Prosecutors tell us Womack did not appear at his next hearing, so the state judiciary issued a bench warrant for his arrest. That was in August 2009. Womack was not served that bench warrant until four years later in 2013. Keith Kaneshiro took over as Honolulu prosecutor in 2010. A spokesman tells me they had to go through a stack of bench warrants of about 2,300 from the previous administration. And by the time they got to this case, it was three years later in 2013. The spokesman says Womack was in Florida when he was located. He was brought here where a new trial was eventually scheduled. And in 2015, Womack's attorney asked the judge to dismiss the case because of excessive delays with the bench warrant. The judge agreed and dismissed the case with prejudice, meaning Womack cannot be charged in this case again. It hits me really hard because um, I have to live with this for the rest of my life and knowing that this case is dismissed is just beyond me and um, my rights are being denied. When I asked why the bench warrant took so long to be served, I was told I had to ask the public safety department because deputy sheriffs would have been the one to serve that warrant. But a spokeswoman for DPS told me they never received the bench warrant and to check with the courts. So I did, and the Judiciary Department told me to check its online records, which were unavailable by the time we checked. The spokesman for the prosecutor's office also told us that someone did contact Sapla after the case was dismissed, but there's no record of what she was told. Sapla insists no one had contacted her since 2014, which is well before the judge dismissed the case. We'll be looking for those online records on Monday, and we'll let you know what we find. Manola Morales, KHON, 2 News. A backlog of warrants is not a new problem. In 2006, there was a backlog of over 70,000 bench warrants due to lack of personnel, budget cuts, and poor coordination among the courts, sheriffs, and police. The judiciary's electronic bench warrant system was developed to help clear the backlog. In its first year, the system reduced 15,000 backlogged warrants.